This video will teach you how to manage medications in one chart. By following these simple steps, you will be able to add a new prescription, modify an existing prescription, and remove a medication from a patient's list. We will also cover sending in a prescription from the medication list as well. Note, this module will use scenarios to help illustrate the steps. In the following scenario, your physician has just finished seeing a patient and would like you to make the following changes to the patient's medications. We will first start with increasing the dosage of the patient's Zoloft prescription. Selecting the Medication List tab from the menu bar will open up a new window. Right-clicking on your desired medication will give you a list of options to choose from. Selecting Modify will open up the prescription order details. After making any desired modifications, selecting Orders for Signature and then Sign will close the window and return you to the previous screen. Selecting Refresh will complete this process. Next, we will cancel the patient's prescription for Ambien. Right-clicking on the name of the medication and selecting Cancel will open up a new dialog box. Here you can enter in the reason for why the medication is being canceled, if known. Selecting Orders for Signature and then Sign will close the window and return you to the previous screen. Selecting Refresh will complete this process. We will now send in the antibiotic for our patient. To add the new prescription for a ZPAC, selecting the Add button will open the ordering window. After typing all or part of the medication name in the search field, a list of names will appear. After selecting the appropriate medication, a new window will open where you will need to enter in the name of the ordering physician in the communication type. Note, the most common option you will use will be cosine required. After entering in the ordering physician information, selecting OK will close the window. Selecting the desired order sentence and clicking OK will return you to the ordering screen. Note. If you have any additional medications to add, you may continue to enter them following the same steps. Selecting Done after you have added any new prescriptions will move you to the Details window. Here is where you can make any necessary modifications. You can also add details, such as if the provider will allow a medication substitution to be done. Selecting the Diagnosis tab and placing a check mark in the appropriate box will allow you to link a diagnosis to the medication. The last steps in ordering a new prescription is either printing the prescription for the patient, charting if samples were given, or documenting if the script was called in to a pharmacy. Selecting Sign and then selecting Refresh will complete this process. In the next scenario, after seeing a new patient, your physician would like to continue a prescription the patient had been on previously until their next annual appointment. Selecting the Medication List tab from the menu bar will allow you to view the patient's current medications. Right-clicking on the name of the prescription and selecting Convert to Prescription will open up a new dialog box. After entering in the ordering physician information and selecting OK, the Medication Details window will open. After entering in any missing information and where you'd like the prescription sent to, selecting Orders for Signature will close the Details window. Selecting Sign and then selecting Refresh will complete this process. 
This concludes the video on how to manage medications in OneChart.